I was actually, I was in the mine eight years ago. Out of nowhere, Creeper just drops in, blows me up, I lose everything. Creeper's already gone at that point, so I figured the best way to get revenge would be to immortalize it in a music video. And here we are, eight years later. It's wild to be number one right now on the Genius Lyric Charts. Eight years after the fact, for that matter, Genius, they, they hit me up. They're like, hey, you're number one. We don't know what's up. We've got all these other Katy Perry, Lil Nas X, Chance the Rapper up here on the charts. We got Captain Sparkles up here at number one. I mean, we got to hit him up. You never know when you're going to have a really passionate, passionate reaction that gets you to just try to drop some fire lyrics, okay? You can't, like, turn away inspiration when it comes to you. And I'm a world-famous rapper now. Just need to get a few face tattoos. Uh, I'll get that booked for next week. Just the creeper face right below my eye. That's what I need. What would my name be like, little creeper? <laughs> little creeper. Obviously, we start off with what's now the iconic memed line, creeper, ah uh, man. Like, what else can you say when you run into a creeper? If it surprises you especially, all you can be like is ah oh, man. I just wanted the first things uttered in the video to, to really resonate with everybody watching who's had that experience. When I was doing the motion capture, I mean, that was like, this is eight years ago we're talking about. This was like the early days of motion capture technology for Minecraft. I had to make sure to be really stiff with my body movements as I was doing the singing and I would go back and forth. I'd watch Usher do his moves in the video. It was about like a week of eight hour days. It turned out okay. The tech has improved greatly since then, but like for what it was at the time, it's like you got Pixar with Toy Story in 1994, just huge monumental. And then you had Revenge in 2011 with the Minecraft motion capture. Try our ninja to his credit. He has written lyrics for other videos, but I did write these lyrics. I did write them. No ghost writers on this one, dude. Not even ghast writers. Oh, oh my god. god. <laughs> so we back in the mine, got our pickaxe swinging from side to side, side, side to side. I mean, I guess what more can I really say about that? It's like, it's very factual. You're in the mine, as you are most of the time. Maybe you got view bobbing on. I've always played with view bobbing on. Your pickaxe is, is swinging. It's bobbing a little bit, dude. I think it adds to the flavor. When you have view bobbing turned on, I know it's kind of controversial. This task a grueling one. Hope to find some diamonds to night, night, night. Diamonds to night. There are very few things that still are just like such a happy moment. That you're seeing that little bit of, little bit of baby blue poking through once you mine out that block. Like it's still almost 10 years later. Oh my God, dude, I got some diamonds. You're stoked on that. But it's a grueling task to dig out those strip mines. But you're hoping, you're just hoping. Heads up, you hear a sound. Turn around and look up. Total shock fills your body. Oh no, it's you again. I could never forget those eyes, 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 uh, eyes. I mean, now things start to go south. You hear that tss, you know, that, that, that sound. You never wanna hear it. You never wanna hear that tss, turn around head looks up. It's fight or flight at that point, dude. Everyone's experienced that at some point, and I thought that I'd really try to capture it. Oh man. I, I mean, I remember, oh man, first time playing Minecraft when I saw a creeper. Way back in the day, in Alpha, when it was nighttime, like, it was dark. And you'd see little silhouettes out there on the horizon. You get close enough to a creeper, you really, you really fully see it. You see that face, it's the last thing you see before it's all gone. Cause baby tonight, the creeper's trying to steal all our stuff again. Ba, 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 da. Cause baby tonight, you grab your pick, shovel, and bolt again. Ba, 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 da, ba. And run, run, until it's done, done, until the sun comes up in the morn. Cause baby tonight, the creeper's trying to steal all our stuff again. Try our ninja. Much better rendition, but we have only my vocal cords here currently. The steel is, is more metaphorical, right? Because the creeper isn't actually able to pocket your belongings, at least hasn't happened yet. It's trying to steal them in that it's gonna blow up 
stuff's gonna be on the ground. You're not gonna get back there within the five minutes and it's just gonna be, it's gonna be gone. So it's like, all you can do is grab your pick, grab your shovel, because if you don't have a sword, all you got are the other tools. Like the only thing that's like misleading about the lyrics here is that I said, till the sun comes up in the morn. The problem with this, I'm surprised more people haven't talked about it. It seems like a big point of discussion. Creepers don't burn in the sun. So technically, you're not actually safe. Even the sun can't necessarily save you if you're in a dark place. You gotta just always keep a watchful eye for creepers. They could be anywhere. Dig up diamonds and craft those diamonds and make some armor. Get it, baby, going forge that like you so. MLG Pro, this sword's made of diamonds, so come at me, bro. Here's the point where I was like, I don't know any rappers, so I guess I've just gotta step up to the plate and do it myself. You know, I was just getting into the rap game at that point. I've had a lot of time to practice since then. I think we're at the point where Eminem and I, we, we could see eye to eye on certain things, have a nice, chat about rapping and all things having to do with it, the industry, the game. It's the turning point, right, in the song. You know, we got our protagonist and he's like, I'm not gonna take any of this crap from no creepers anymore. Of course, you know, MLG Pro, when you're taking out creepers, like it's nothing. Training in your room under the torchlight, hone that form to get you ready for the big fight. Every single day and the whole night, creepers out prowling, whew. All right, in order to be able to back up that confidence fighting the creepers, I mean, you gotta obviously do some training. A safe space in your house with the torches shining, you train, right? You swing in that sword left and right, face it, man up, walk up to that thing, approach it, and then, so you gotta train for that. Look at me, look at you, take my revenge, that's what I'm gonna do, cause I'm a warrior, baby, but that you knew, and my blade's gonna tear through you. All right? I mean, that's just, that's the call out, right? Look at me, look at you, I'm better. I got what it takes to take you out. I'm not afraid of you anymore, and that's, that's what we're going for. After this debuted, and we had that verse drop that I did, I mean, all the big artists, they were hitting me up, they're like, yo, can you ghostwrite my stuff for me? I heard that verse that you dropped in Revenge, it was absolutely sick. You never know. You never know your favorite rap songs out there. Might be me. Might be me. Any Billboard Top 100, pop, rap, whatever, hit me up. I'm here to collab on all your Minecraft music video needs. Katy Perry, Lady Gaga, uh, we mentioned Chance the Rapper, I don't know, Taylor Swift, Ed Sheeran, Eminem. Eminem, hit me up. Number one on Genius, there must be something to these lyrics, okay? Lil Nas X, you want a crossover? See, that's the thing you could do Old Town Road. I'm, I got horses in the back in Minecraft, right? Like, that's that can already exist. You want that crossover? We'll switch up a few words here and there, but we still have the horses in the back. Lil Nas X, you let me know. Fella number one's gotta, gotta collab. It's a transformation story from start to finish. He started scared in the mine, and then he ended up being the legendary Creeper Slayer by the end of the video. So really, I think it's supposed to be a heartwarming inspiration for the rest of us that like, you can be that too. You can. Revenge's impact on the music industry, it's, it's, it's really, I mean, unparalleled. All the biggest artists out there, they listen to it, they, they took inspiration. If you just analyze how they write and compose their sentences, you can always draw some parallels back to Revenge. Just like, you know, with the English language, you can always draw some parallels back to Shakespeare's, how he really emphasized and, and uh, certain certain vocabulary. It's affected the rest of the world. It's like sentence structure and, and song structure, all like you can analyze and you'll see like thousands of years down the road, it'll be like the missing link with Lucy, with paleontologists and stuff. And like it'll all converge in August 2011. Like that's gonna be the common point where the music just, it just stemmed from. Um, I mean, it's just crazy, this worldwide impact, dude.